Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with this week, week three's lecture video. So before I get started on lecture video, um, let's run over to assignment uploads. Once again, I am sorry, I was unaware that this particular course folder link did not work. Probably was a carryover from a previous uh, class, but it'll take you to the course um, folder right there. Now I want to mention to everybody that if you have something in the course folder now that we have been able to solve the link issue, okay, you must upload your Google Drive, your GDoc link to the assignment here. So go into that course folder. If that essay is sitting there, grab that link up at the top right there. Just grab it, copy and paste it and click submit. Once again, I'm asking for GDoc links. I'm looking for GDoc links. I'm not looking for PDFs or Word documents. I am looking for a GDoc link in there. So if you uploaded a document and not the link and you have a zero, please go in and upload that GDoc link. And I believe this should close this topic then. So moving on to our lecture video for chapter one okay uh let me get the powerpoint up i looked at some of the posts for discussion boards 1.4 there are some really interesting topics brewing okay social media and smartphones are starting to uh take a control of the board and that's great you can talk about it and you know my purpose for having um <clears throat> twangy's article and even the calling article is to get a discussion and the topic going on um uh, in, in the critical thinking essay, essay, okay? My purpose in assigning the critical thinking essay is to see how everybody handles material um, uh, that's written by others. How do you work with someone? Can you summarize and paraphrase and can you respond? Understand the rhetorical differences between paraphrasing, summarizing, and responding. Uh, I've made comments about that, a essay organization. So if you did not score well, then I suggest you think about revising. If you have any questions, please contact me. Uh, in fact, uh, most um, students don't do too well with that critical thinking as, uh, essay assignment. So um, before we get really going into some of the heavy assignments, I suggest revisions. Everybody's eligible. Contact me and we can talk about my comments and what you need to do to be more successful. So chapter one, now we're moving into course inquiry and everybody seems to be on board with the Generation Z focus. And I think sometimes this is a really interesting topic. I put it out there a couple of times. So um, I wanna jump to the portion of um, chapter one where you know it's making the most of an assigned topic. Look at the people who have been uh, influential in that topic area. Uh, nothing like finding a typo in uh, an old PowerPoint, but we'll take care of that right there. Uh, trends, uh, what are some of the trends? Some people wrote about technology. There's a lot of trends in technology. You can talk about apps and social medias. TikTok is interesting to me. I don't understand the point behind that or Snapchat, but then again, uh, I don't have to. That's right, that's one of the great things. We can pick and choose who we uh, want to uh, engage with, what apps we want to engage with. Is there controversies? Um, is there something to argue about? Look at places, specific locations, geographical or socioeconomic. Okay, impact, what has the most effect on uh, the most people in society? You know, you cannot argue with the scope of social media and smartphones and what, you know, what they've been able to, um, really how deeply they've penetrated our society and everything, our relationships, our everything about our life now, right? So you wanna look at some of the aspects here uh, in the chapter. Uh, what's a good topic? Well, I mean, uh, it's finding the right research questions and I ask you to open up exercise 1.5 with the question <clears throat> and then talk about your topic. Also, <clears throat> what makes a question researchable? So you wanna dig into the textbook and take a look at that. You don't want something too big or a, a topic too small then you won't be able to narrow or develop, right? Uh, something that's conversational, what can we talk about? Just, you can't tell me that you know, social media and smartphones uh, cause, um, you know, mental health issues. We already pretty much know that the evidence is out there. So what else is conversational about it, right? Why is it so uh, really invasive in some of our, um, you know, some of our population, right? 
Some people might have a stake in the answer. I mean, if you or you know somebody who's struggling with social media or smartphone or a, any particular aspect. I think there was an interesting post in Exercise 1.4. Somebody talked about uh, uh, the trend for uh, the LGBTQ community. Uh, LGBTQ, sorry, I've done a lot of talking so far Wednesday morning, okay? So that's an interesting take on the generational aspect of that. I haven't had that one. Okay, you can always search the internet, uh, research a database, so look at something like Google Scholar, we'll get into Google Scholar and some of the research. When we get into chapter two next week, all right, pay attention to what you've read or viewed recently, okay? Look at practical topics, ideas, close to home, something local, collaborate. That's why I built the discussion board there so people can turn around and uh, collaborate and work off each other's uh, posts and responses, um, figure out where you're going. So you wanna be able to develop a working knowledge, right? Begin with the basics, look for definitions and debates and people and context. One important thing, and we're developing a working knowledge, and I ask you for this in exercise 1.5 in the discussion board number five, is to give me some soft sources. I don't want any citations. I'm just looking for hyperlinks, the links, the URLs, okay? From your articles or some sources, look for, I'm looking for two or three soft sources that help inform your position. That's for exercise uh, 1.5, your topic proposal. Um, I will, that's a critical component in my mind. So research the strategies and develop a working knowledge because what we want to get to is not only just a working knowledge and knowing what is happening within your topic, but then we want to get into that focus knowledge later on when you start really doing the research and reading and writing about your uh, specific topic through all the activities that we have in uh, the eight week class here at 11 and two. We're going to do an annotated bibliography. We're going to work on some double entry drafting and the research essay. So you're going to have to work with some of your sources and obtain that deeper focused knowledge on your particular topic. So it's critical that um, everybody start developing those sources, right? You're going to want to narrow a little bit as much as you can. I know it's the beginning, but you're going to want to select a topic and kind of focus in on one aspect of it. It'll help you research then in the future. But narrowing the subject is critical. And that's talked about in chapter one, you'll pay attention to that. Now we're not doing essay uh, exercise 1.3. I say to do those on your own. Table 1.2 gives you a bunch of questions that might work for your particular topic because I ask you to inquire, you know, to write some opening inquiry questions on exercise 1.5. I really, I prefer about maybe three questions and after that it gets a little bit uh, too many questions. You want to focus as much as you can on questions whether policy or relationship or interpretation or value, okay, or even a claim type question. Take a look at the uh, questions in chapter one. <clears throat> and I ask you to present two possible avenues. One to explore is where you present your research and you wanna just explore your topic, right? You're just gonna research and write about what you find and kind of like record your thinking a little bit like Ballinger did in theories of intelligence, right? Or you're gonna make an argument, right? You have a strong hunch, you have something you wanna argue that smartphones and social media are the death of society. Well, it may be the case, but we haven't gotten there yet. So, but you may wanna take that particular um, position and you wanna argue and present the evidence to support that, all right? So in 1.5, read through the instructions in the textbook clearly. Um, I'm looking for a significant post, about 300, 350 words, right? Paragraph for two purposes, one to explore and one to argue, as I just described. Also, it says here, I'm looking for those two to three soft sources, and I bet that says the same thing in the discussion board number five uh, in that thread post, right? So uh, this kind of wraps my discussion of extra, uh, chapter one. It's all about determining a topic. We have a framework, but where you go, on your topic is entirely up to you. If you want to do smartphones and social media, that's fine, but please be aware. Twangy's article that you use for the critical thinking essay is off limits. Yes, for your research project, that is my source. Not to say that Dr. Twangy doesn't have um, a body of work out there. She certainly does. She has well published. In fact, I have her book that she wrote 
In fact, I even met her when she turned around and uh, spoke last year at the Riding on the Edge conference that I was a committee member on. So I had the chance and opportunity to meet her and chat with her. And she's a pretty, um, pretty interesting person there. All right. Spent her life working on the psychology end of uh, generational differences. So it's interesting, but there is a body of work out there. All right. So I'll stop the lecture video here. Let me get my PowerPoint down about chapter one. Once again, uh, please upload those GDOC links for the critical thinking essay. Um, I think I've mentioned in my announcement that there will be, you know, no penalty. Sorry for the mix up, as I say once again. All right. So um, I look forward to commenting on your topics. Remember the criteria. Thank you. Good luck and stay safe out there.